Hey everyone, welcome to GrowMed. In this video, we will discuss certain radiology one-liners previously asked in the FMG. So, radiology se har saal seven or eight questions aate hain. Radiology ek aisa subject hai ki agar tumne bade bade subject kar liye, jaise surgery, medicine and pediatrics, ENT and all, to ye ek aisa hai ki ye jo saare subject ko cover karta hai. There's nothing much to do in the radiology if you've done all subjects. Uh, big subjects, I would say, very uh, thoroughly. Most in one-liners are asked in radiology or image or image-based and they will uh, ask you to make the diagnosis according to the image. They will give a X-ray or a ultrasound or a CT scan. So let's see one-liners asked in the FMG exam. The questions are asked on the uh, unit, SI unit and the conventional unit. So let's see them. The unit for the radiation dose, it is the rotengin, the SI unit and the column and the columns per kg. For the absorbed radiation, it is red and the SI unit is grey and for the effectiveness, it is the REEM and the SI unit is the SEVA. A very uh, repeatedly asked question is the thickness of the lead jacket. For the prophylaxis, the uh, radio radiation is the same as the lead jacket and the thickness of the minimum thickness is 0.5 mm and repeatedly asked one liner. So moving on, the fast scan usually done when a patient with trauma, blunt trauma comes to the hospital and uh, questions are asked on the full form of the fast. So this full form is focused assessment with sonography for the trauma and frequently questions are asked on the full form itself. Then in this case, which is scan is the same thing, that is also necessary because questions are also asked from Like we will see the pericardial, pericardial cavity, then right upper quadrant, left upper quadrant and the pendulum. So all of the following except kind of a question is asked. Uh, just like moving on contrast used in the MRI, very very basic question, just the answer is gadolinum. Asked multiple times. Then moving on, the X-ray and the CT, they both work on the same principle. The question is uh, that which of the following works on the same principle? So certain there were certain options like X-ray CT, X-ray MRI, MRI ultrasound. So I had to choose from that, and the answer was X-ray and the CT scan. If we are moving on to the most radiosensitive phase of the cell cycle, in a lot of people have asked one liner, and the answer is G2M phase, and the most radio-resistant phase G2S phase. Also, ovens and tissue are also asked that most sensitive ones are most, radi uh, most radio sensitive and most radio resistant. So, we will see the most radio sensitive tumor and the answer is the Ewing sarcoma. Repeatedly asked question. And the most radio sensitive organ it is the ovary in the females and in the males the testes because in men are active proliferating cells. So, they are damaged by radiation. Ke, radiation ke se. Okay, then moving on the most sensitive tissue and it is the bone marrow. Because the logic is the same as the bone marrow, we are actively proliferating cells, RBCs, WBCs, and the radiation is effective on the bone marrow. Then the least radio sensitive tissue and it is the nerves. Because nerves uh, do not have the property of regeneration, so these are uh, mostly not affected by the radiation. Then UVST works on which principle? It is the piezoelectric crystals. And these piezoelectric crystals, they have lead, zirconate, titanate. So this is also one line that was asked previously. Okay, then moving on, we will see certain investigation of choice which are frequently asked. Like the investigation of choice for the head trauma and the investigation of choice for the intracranial calcification. The answer is the NCCT. Whenever a patient with a trauma comes to the hospital, we will first do the NCCT. Okay, then another favorite favorite question is the investigation of choice for the bronchiectasis and the interstitial lung disease and it is the HRCT. Pathology may be asked and then asked even in the radiology, then medicine. Okay, so the investigation of choice for the positive stones, it is the USG. On the USG, we can see the stones and the finding which we can see is the posterior ascoutic shadowing. That means, where we have the word blood, here are stones, so the stones are behind, here there will be a shadow. So that is called as posterior ascoutic shadow and a very important finding. Then, investigation of choice for the acute pancreatitis, it is the CECT. And for the chronic pancreatitis, we usually do ERCP. So these were certain points asked in the generally in the radiology. Now we will see certain signs which we can see are related to the diseases. A favorite question of the FMG is what are the signs seen in asked multiple times. 
and like every year they have been repeating this question so it is a very important topic and you also need to know ki ye uh, ultrasound pe ya fir chest chest x ray pe kaise finding dikhti hai theek hai so this is seen in the hydatid cyst then onion pin lesion seen in the ewing sarcoma jo ki ek pediatric ki condition hai mostly children mein dekhne ko milta hai and it is a bone tumor theek hai then a so bubble appearance seen in the chent cyst tumor which is which is also a bone tumor and arises from the epiphysis so this also is asked as a one liner that the chent cell arises from then moving on skull lesions multiple uh, certain findings seen on the skull when there are systemic diseases like punched out lesion or a raindrop appearance seen in the multiple myeloma and the hair on end or a crew cut appearance seen in the hemolytic disorders like hemolytic diseases like thalassemia and the sickle cell anemia so moving on also another very important topic the chest x-ray on chest x-ray you can see the egg cell characteristics it is seen in two conditions uh, the sarcoidosis seen in the sarcoidosis and the silicosis and the silicosis so how do you differentiate matlab question mein ya to fir directly de denge chest x-ray deke aur ye options ya fir ek aajkal clinical cases zyada chal rahe to clinical case mein female rahegi aur silicosis mein male rahegi aur factory work kar rahega to factory ki ye rahegi factory ki history rahegi and the female will be having an autoimmune disease so is ke basis pe you can differentiate that it is sarcoidosis or the silicosis then moving on the thumb sign also favorite question questions asked in the pediatric thumb sign seen in the epiglottitis text x ray de denge aur puchhenge thumb sign seen in ya fir bachche ka ya fir a child coming presents to the emergency with uh, respiratory distress and uh, fever to diagnosis kya hoga to aise bhi question pucha gaya hai the stipple sign seen in croup or the laryngeal tracheal bronchitis ye bhi ek pediatric condition hai aur chest x ray de denge ya fir they will give you the chest x ray and uh, make ask you to make the diagnosis or then give a uh, clinical case ek bachcha tha respiratory distress se wo aaya and uh, you can see the stipple sign what is the diagnosis also questions are asked from the positive agent of the acute and acute epiglottitis and the croup so we will learn them in the pediatric the so moving on for on signs seen in the pulmonary hematoma the next air under the diaphragm also a very important uh, topic uh, usually surgery se integrate karke questions puche gaye hain they give you a case a patient comes to the emergency with pain and you perform the chest x-ray and you find this uh, air under the diaphragm what will be the diagnosis to iska diagnosis hai ki pneumoperitoneum mein dikhta hai and the cause is perforation of the bowel perforation perforation ho jati hai jab cit ki to tab air dekhne ko milti hai under the bowel tract theek hai then moving then moving on single bubble sign double bubble triple bubble sign usually questions are asked in relation with the surgery or the medicine they'll give you a chest x-ray and ask you to make the diagnosis so let's see the single bubble sign seen in the infantile hyperpyloric hypertrophic pyloric stenosis then the double bubble sign seen when there is obstruction at the duodenal level like the duodenal atresia and the annular pancreas and the triple bubble sign seen in the duodenal atresia the moving on the moving on और रेडियोलॉजी में वेरियम स्टडीज भी करते हैं और वेरियम एनिमा मिल या फिर स्ट्रायलो थ्रू इनसे ना हर एक साल एक क्वेश्चन तो आता ही है सो इट इज़ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो कि हर सारे वेरियम एनिमा में कौन से कौन से फाइंडिंग देखने को मिलती है तो वेरियम एनिमा क्लॉसाइन वेरियम एनिमा में क्लॉसाइन दिखता है देन द डायग्नोसिस इज द इंटोसिसप्शन एंड द इंटोसिसप्शन ऑन द यू एस जी एंड द इंटोसिसप्शन ऑन द यू एस जी शोज अ डोनट फॉर द टारगेट फाइव then images bahut zyada zaruri hai to sare images uh, you need to know all the images along with this signs you need to know even the image ki image pe ye finding kaise dikhti hai the next to the barium enema uh, looks like a bird of prey and on x ray coffee bean appearance this is a classical sign seen with the sigmoid volvulus repeatedly asked question then moving on the thumb print sign seen in ischemic colitis this also a repeat it is also a very ये भी एक बहुत ज़्यादा पूछा गया है क्वेश्चन थम प्रिंट साइन ठीक है देन फुट ए किडनी इमेज बेस्ट क्वेश्चन इज आस्ट दे गिव यू अदर एक्सरे एंड यू कैन सी द कैल्सिफिकेशन इन द किडनी सो इट इज सीन ड्यू टू द टीबी रीनल टीबी में दिखता है वो फुट ए किडनी देन 
adder head appearance. Adder head appearance seen with the urethrocele. Asked multiple times along with the image. Then, flower walls appearance seen in the horse shoe kidney. Also a very very important topic. Clinical case ke tarah bhi pucha gaya hai and image based bhi pucha gaya hai. So it is a must 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 topic. Three, bahut baar repeat hua hai ye horse horse shoe kidney. Then uh, moving on, string find seen in two conditions: the ileocecal TB and the Crohn's disease. Crohn's disease means string sign of cancer. Take me comment that. Then moving on, another two barium studies which you need to know that corkscrew appearance seen in diffuse esophageal spasm. And another finding seen in the barium spider, the bird beak sign, classical finding of the ecclesia cardia. Repeatedly questions are asked on this image based as well as a clinical case in relation with the surgery. That's it in this video, guys. Uh, radiology is a very big subject. Hai. There are so many points to read in the radiology, but in this video, I have only covered those points which I have repeatedly asked in the FMG. I have given the exam without going to the exam. I have covered the points. Thank you, guys, for watching this video. And if you like this video, please share it with your friends. Subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you so much. Bye bye.